was amazed by the new ways of technology and innovation, innovative solutions. Uh, he was amazed with sustainability utilization in the market right now. All people are thinking to uh, save more time, save more costs, save efforts, and they need to think more about the OPEX phase than more the CAPEX phase. So all of these things happen and we are digitally transformed right now in the right way. When I look to, uh, to nominations, I'm looking for the innovative solutions, uh, sustainability solutions. I'm focusing on digital transformation. I'm a guy who's very amazed when it came to digitalization, automations, artificial intelligence, because we are now in the era of digital transformation. Dubai is thinking to be the, from the first cities in the world when it came to smart cities. Seeing what the companies and engineers uh are striving in terms of innovation, in terms of adding to the industry, in terms of uh, di digitalization, which is very much needed, uh, and uh, having the discussions with the judges. It was enlightening, change of perspective, different perspectives on the table, everyone looking at the entry from a different perspective. For senior engineers and uh, executives and, uh, and such, how they influence the community. So giving back is a big, is a big thing. Uh, for project, I was looking at um, how the project differs. Uh, in the end, it's easy for everyone to do projects, but uh, when a project offers something that is different, innovative, or something that is really needed in this region, that definitely stood out for me. The young engineer category was interesting. Uh, very high caliber of all applicants. Uh, everyone striving for their personal development, as well as being involved with uh, associations and uh, even within their internal companies uh, uh, for progressive design, for uh, even progressing their own, their own selves. It was interesting to see, definitely. It was a very pleasurable experience from the perspective that it was very interactive, a lot of follow-up, and I also enjoyed working with the other judges. Um, it's good to actually work with other people from the industry to get other perspectives. Um, I think especially from the industry association perspective, it's very easy for us to get into this uh, habit of just being very focused on one aspect. Um, but this expands the viewpoint of what the industry is about. So that was definitely one of the best things about this process. Well, firstly, it was the scale of the project. Um, the type, the caliber of the individuals that were involved in these projects, uh, professional development, but also development from the perspective of what they were doing to improve projects, um, looking into things like green building and sustainability. Those are two of the main, I think, important points um, and the measures that have been implemented in order to achieve those ratings. Those were some of the things that were very important and formed obviously the basis of making these decisions. I would say the GCC project of the year was my favorite category. Um, firstly, because of the types of projects, uh, it was so diverse, different, uh, different aspects that needed to be taken into consideration. Again, scale of the projects. And I think it was also very interesting to see the different viewpoints from the judging perspective. So that was definitely my favorite category. When I set to judge all these categories, one thing was which came profoundly was you had done a lot of homework and you had actually shortlisted 80, no, 91, 91 entries in 16 categories. So each one of that uh, the categories when we went, we saw that people were trying to put uh, their heart and soul into the papers, what they, they were saying, and it was more of a continual improvement process. What I liked the most about it is there were some individuals, some entities who had already received the award last year and here they were again competing against each other. So that shows the zeal, that shows what this award means, means to them. And, and I was typically flabbergasted to see this. It was an excellent, excellent uh, initiative and well coordinated. And uh, of course, when we had the consensus meeting with the judges also, I think most of us were on the same wavelength, which is normally not the case in most of the awards. So uh, I really thank uh, the organizers and the ITP team for giving me a chance to be a part of such a prestigious project. The most important thing, uh, as I said, coming back to uh, my background, uh, I'm a student of excellence and I've been judging in most of the awards. For me, uh, I go by the radar approach. So for me, the first thing which comes is whether the results are defined. Second important thing is the approach, whether the approach is sound, whether it is integrated with the company. Third one is deployment. 
whether really whatever they have as an approach has been deployed, whether it is structured, whether it is implemented, and finally comes the refinements and assessment. In this, we talk about measurements, we talk about learnings, and out of the learnings, what improvement have you done? So all this put together is what I'm looking at. And I think most of the candidates were, were bang on on that thing, which, which impressed me the most. Everybody, uh, the individual, the MEP uh, consultant, the contractors, the companies, suppliers, electrical engineers, I think everybody's interest, I'm sure people would look forward to this kind of award where not only the company as a whole, but each and every individual in the company actually comes, participates and takes the journey of continual improvement of him and his organization towards the future.